Hey folks, it came to my attention that some are not really sure what the big picture is. Some have even suggested this channel doesn't seem to indicate any changes are happening. As baffling as that is to some of you, and me, and I hate to keep repeating things, but in truth there are about 20,000 people who weren't here the last time I did this, so I'll review, but I'm going to do it fast. Earth's poles are shifting, magnetic poles that is. For simplicity, I've labeled the top, bottom two, and middle point of official North Pole measurements. The first 73 years at the bottom represent normal pole migration, but the next 68 years, up to 1972, shows a large jump. A similar migration is taken to the top, 2001, but this took only 29 years. We know that as of a few years ago, it was traveling 40 miles a year towards Siberia. Globally, our protective magnetic shield is 10% weaker than it was in the 19th century, and the World Center for Geomagnetism claims the weakening began in the 1600s. As we saw the last few days' news, the sun's umbral field is weakening, weakest it's been in 50 years and showing no signs of stopping. A few NASA and NSO personnel are actually fearing a Maunder-type solar shutdown. So where's the energy? Well, Venus is slowing its rotation. In the electric universe seen by this channel, this correlation to an oppositely spinning planet is clear. Mars shows evidence of recent massive seismic activity. Jupiter gained a new red spot, lost an entire planetary stripe, and had a killer flash blamed on an asteroid that managed to leave no fragments upon its explosion and no cloud hole from an intact impactor. It was an electromagnetic event. Saturn's storms are tremendously predictable. Well, at least they were until the latest was a decade early and lasted many multiple its expectation. NASA thought Saturn's slowed rotation was their observation error. Maybe not. Hubble has been looking at planets for decades and just recently was able to spot the auroras of Uranus. Many energetic changes, but not even one moon out of place. Planet X might be out there, but the closest guess at such an outside effect appears yet outside the heliosphere and directly correlated to the center of the galaxy. The ENA ribbon bombards the inner system with ENAs and turns the solar wind back around. Does the center of the galaxy have a version of a solar flare? Anywho, back to Earth where our atmosphere is collapsing settle down. Not like you can jump into space, but it is significant. And it's funny that NASA says they expect this with solar minimum due to the lack of flaring, just not this much, when they themselves describe the ultra-long and weak minimum and the weak solar max so far. You've seen how shy the sun is towards us in the daily news. Noctilucent clouds were once a polar phenomenon, but they are being seen earlier, later, and at lower and lower latitudes. These are at very high altitude and nearing more electric layers in the atmosphere. One of the clearest changes in the atmosphere is the F1 layer, the critical frequency which rises and falls boringly with the solar cycle, or at least it did until 2007, just like the coronal holes discussed recently. And this is out of control. To review, we first have to remember that our magnetic shield has been weakening since the 1600s. Our poles began shifting in the 1800s. The sun really began losing energy recently, and the planets appear to be gaining it. We have no evidence of a gravitational intruder yet, but we see a direct connection to the center of the galaxy. In 2007, the sun really shut down and it appears to be affecting solar maximum. The planets even more in 2007 is the year I see Earth's changes hastening. Part of this change in magnetism and lower atmosphere means different attractive elements with space rocks, making it to lower altitude with collapsed atmosphere before encountering friction. I shouldn't have to mention the weather changes, but just to review, the heat records indeed are real, but cold records are at their heels and precipitation is thumping them both. Keep in mind the fault destabilization from April 11th, 2012, when two eight-pointers are officially blamed on large quakes triggered across the planet for a week. I expect the destabilization to continue. Weather modification is playing God. They believe they need to bolster our failing shield, and so far Earth is the changing least of all the planets and sun, but they won't keep that up forever. They might make it worse as the shift overcomes them. The chemicals and SRM patents are poisonous, and I am pretty sure Monsanto's trying to capitalize on the entire situation. As of a few minutes ago, the HARP website was still down, and that is really infuriating. Along with their censorship of Electric Universe revealing CMEs on Soho, I know many of you have many, many questions, and I have some ideas for new and effective means of interaction, but I'd like to get yours as well. Always remember that a tempered and intelligent approach must meet diligent fact-checking to avoid confusion and keep a level head. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.